Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, install a, a three-prong outlet on a very old two-wire circuit with the uh, proper polarity. And uh, this only applies to the country that I'm born in, the United States. Because I don't know if overseas if they use the cold water pipe for a ground. Okay, so we connected the green wire to the cold water pipe here. Okay, so we're going to take our digital voltage meter here. We're going to use the 200 volts because that's the lowest setting there is on it that's above the house current. And we will take a three-prong extension cord here. We will take and put one prong here in the ground and uh, no voltage here, 120 volts here on the uh, colored wire, and uh, see how it is colored here, there's a, it looks like a greenish tracer, and this is a plain white cloth here. So we are going to go over here and uh, turn off our uh, circuit breaker here. It's not that one. It is this one. And we'll verify that with our voltage meter. Okay, and we're just going to verify there is no power here, and the uh, power is off. So now we'll hook our ground wires together here. We put a green screw in the back of the box there to uh, bond the box, and we're going to bond the outlet to the box. So we'll get these two started here, we'll get a nice twist, we'll come over here, we'll get the third wire started in here, get them twisted evenly. And we'll just cut the end off so it's even. And we can either use a wire nut or a crimp sleeve. And I'm going to just use a wire nut today. Alrighty, so now we have our ground tail here. Shorten that up a little bit. Okay, so we on the alley got the silver screw and the brass screw. We're going to open up the uh, one side we're going to use here. Okay, so this was the one that's neutral, and see how it doesn't have any tracer in it, it's... So we're going to put the neutral on the silver screw. I knew that when I was a year and a half old, the white goes on the silver screw and the black goes on the brass screw. And we'll put the ground wire on the green screw. Close the loop so that the wire goes all the way around the screw the way you want it to be. And I'm going to pull back on this wire, make sure it's all under the loop. It's tight. And we'll hook our black up on the brass screw over here. But it's not actually black, it's the one with the colored tracer in it wire around the screw, close the loop,
Okay, the loop is closed and the insulation is just up to the screw. So everything is all nice and tight. Okay, so we'll come over and we will uh, turn our circuit back on. And we will uh, check it with the voltmeter and verify that everything is working the way it should and that we have the ground. Okay, now we're going to verify that we have the ground. We're going to use our voltmeter here. It's on 200 volts because that's the lowest voltage there is. So we will take one lead, go to the ground, and we'll check on the live side of the outlet. 120 volts. 120 volts. And again, we'll check it this way. 120 volts here. 120 volts here. So now we uh, uh, do have a uh, grounded outlet, but uh, always consult with codes before you do electrical wiring. Peace. Thanks for watching.